Welcome back to DVC Weekly. This is episode 164. And my name is Jason Ruppling. I'm the broker of Buy and Sell DVC. I'm here with Scott Ferrioli. I'm the owner of DVC-Rental.com and Buy and Sell DVC.com. And today is March 27th, 2024. So your 11th month window is February 27th, 2025. Seventh month window is October 27th, 2024. We're going to go right into the buy and sell side of things. And today is the top five myths or things people tend to get incorrect regarding DVC. Number one. The expiration date for the resorts is different if you buy resale yep. <laughs> or direct. That is false. The expiration date for the resorts is the same if you buy direct or you buy resale. If you buy Bay Lake Tower, it expires 2060. It doesn't matter if you bought it direct from Disney in 2009, direct from Disney in 2015, direct from Disney yesterday. If you bought a resale, you know, in 2012, 2015, 2020, it expires 2060. The end dates are the same. And then re and remember, on buy and sell dvc.com under buyers tabs, you have a, a tab that tells you the annual dues and the expiration date and the price per point of the resorts. Number two, right of first refusal or, or ROFR means. Disney gets to look at the property first. So many times I see someone say, I have um, an Old Key West property I'm looking to sell. Um, can you give me some guidance? And then someone will say, well, we have to give it to Disney first. That is false. You have to find a buyer first. You and the buyer have to sign an agreement. That agreement is then sent to Disney for right of first refusal. So, I mean, that's how right of first refusal works. It doesn't, meaning you don't say, you know, I'm an owner and I say, I have a Saratoga Springs property, do you want to buy it? And then Disney says no, and that means that it's gone through right of first refusal. That's not how that works. You find a buyer, everybody signs, it's sent to Disney, and then they'll answer in right of first refusal. And then, uh, I don't know if I even put this on here, but if they buy it back, they just simply take over as the buyer. The price that you've reached uh, with the buyer is the exact same yeah. price that they buy back for. The price doesn't change at all. So Disney can't come in and lowball you, right. essentially is what you're saying. Disney can't sit there and say, okay, you know, you're selling it for 150, we'll give you 100. Well, it's like so many, like, let's say we, we send a, an agreement for a right of first refusal and then Disney buys it back, I notify the seller, and then the seller will ask, well, what price should they buy it for? And I'm like, they just took, they. They bought it on the exact same terms that you reached with the seller. They're just simply taking over as a buyer. They can't change the terms. They can only change the buyer. Number three, um, I can't sell my property because I don't own it free and clear. That is false. You can sell your property at any time, and the closing company is going to pay off your mortgage to Disney or to Vacation Club Loans or Monera before sending you the remaining funds. So you do not have to own your property free and clear in order to sell your Disney Vacation Club property. Number four, I need to know the date. Oh, here's, so the buyer will call in and say, I need to know the date this property was listed because the longer it has been listed, the more negotiable the seller will be. That is false. I, I mean, I've been selling DVC since 2004 and the sellers that come to you that want the property sold are very active with their listing, meaning they, they try and set the price where they think they're going to get offers. If they don't get offers within five to seven days, they're lowering the price. And I mean, and they're just, they're doing everything they can so their property sells within a 30 day period. When you have a listing that's been around for six to eight months, a lot of times, you know, we've been in contact with that seller multiple times. Hey, do you want to make adjustments to your listings? Do you want to make, you know, the other similar listings are selling for this price? And we're we're sending them all sorts of information and they're just they're just staying at the same price. They just, you know, I don't know what sometimes I don't know why sellers even have their property listed. I don't know if it's 
to appease someone else in their family <laughs> to say that we have it listed or what the deal is. But a, a lot of times someone that's had the property listed for a long time, it's it's just it's not even in the top of their mind to sell their property. They just, you know, it, they're usually not very negotiable. They don't even really know really what's going on with their property. I mean, again, those are sellers are few and far between, but you know, it happens. But typically though, you know, you, I mean, so many offers and so many things happen with a listing that's just been listed. Like, you know, you, you know, you want to, I mean, if you see a listing, you kind of want to attack that listing right away and just make your offer. Um, number five, it takes forever to close on a resale purchase. That is false. I mean, most times you will be closed in six to seven weeks and then have your points in your account 14 days after that. I mean, if you're signing everything as fast as you can on your end, typically the seller is as well. Now, the seller's final documents, they do have to be notarized, but usually sellers are pretty good about getting those documents notarized and mailed back in. But, you know, everything's typically closing six to seven weeks and then you're in the system two weeks later. Now, of course, over time, there's been different, you know, if you take a 20 year period of the resales, has there been a couple um, blips in the system where number one, things were closing in 21 days? Yes. Have you seen things where they closed in, say, 10 weeks and then five weeks get your points in the system? Yes, but those are outliers. For the most part, everything is six to seven weeks and then two weeks to load your points. So those are the top five myths or things people tend to get incorrect regarding DVC. Hopefully you had those memorized and you won't get them wrong again. As I saw this list, I wanted to put it in honorable mention at number six, if you're okay with that. That, and I, I, I just saw this in, the, in our, our Disney Vacation Club resales DVC group the other day. Someone was looking to buy DVC and they weren't sure. And they said, oh, I, I know that, you know, I can only stay at the resort. If I buy resale, I can only stay at my home resort. And everybody jumped in there and explained, you know, no, that's, that's, that's not, it's something that people have thought for years, something Disney has said would happen for years. That's not the case. It's only happened in, in the last, I don't know, two, three years now with the, with the bringing on of Riviera. If you buy Riviera on the resale market, you can only stay at Riviera. And now the same thing is going to be true with the new Disneyland Hotel, which I don't have you seen anybody have a Disneyland hotel in the resale market yet? Yeah, it's so new. I haven't seen anybody yet. But at, So essentially, only if you're purchasing Riviera, and maybe anything going forward, like newer stuff, you can only stay at that home resort. But if you purchase any other resort, you can stay at your home resort 11 months out, and you can switch to any other resort ex except for Riviera as well at the seven-month window. So you, you can stay wherever you like. That is a very good honorable mention. Yes, that's, that's a good one. Thank you. That's why you keep me around. Yes. <laughs> and now we're on to the food review of the week. Ty rolled a little magic thing. Come here. I'm going to eat you. Get in my belly. So for today's food review, I am back at Amaret's Patissier because I, I mentioned I, we tried three things when we were there. And I, you know, we, we, we try to do this type of stuff. It was, it was my wife and both, and both of my children we tried all these things. And so I, I'm hoping this one's better than the unbelievably disappointing uh, Mickey Moose that we tried. This time it was the lemon blueberry cream puff. So this was a cream puff filled with blueberry cream and lemon curd. This one was definitely a good amount better than the Mickey Moose. The puff had lots of blueberry and cream, and cream slash mousse, whatever you call it, inside. Nothing overpowering, but very tasty. Not overly sweet. Uh, they switched again. They switch desserts often, so definitely you, you want to check in with them. And which I, I I absolutely love as somebody who has to do these food reviews. You know, to find a shop that you enjoy that's constantly changing stuff around. It doesn't it doesn't work great when people hear something and then they want to go try it. But you know, for me, it works out wonderfully because I can sit there and, and keep coming back with new stuff for you. So I really do enjoy Amrets doing this. Um, I gave this one a 7.5, and it means there's still, there's still one thing remaining. I'm saving the best for last, as I'm definitely seeing a pattern about Amaretz here. That over the last two times I've been there and I've tried a couple different things, I, I see what Amaretz does best. And we'll leave it at that. Next. Okay. Lewis, it came right back to me. And now, <laughs> under now it's under the table. See Dash Parental side of things. On the rental side, um, I decided it might be a little fun to pepper in um, the next couple of weeks up 
a, a featured resort. So for this week's featured resort, I'm going to talk about Animal Kingdom. It's one of my absolute favorite resorts, and it consists of both Jumbo House and Kadani Village. The resort has studios, one bedrooms, two bedrooms, and the three bedroom grand villas. Uh, it's the only resort that offers a club level, as well as the best bang for the option out there, the value rooms, which they have value studios, one bedrooms, and two bedrooms. Um, both resorts have, when I say both resorts, you know, Anim Jumbo House and Kadani Village, both resorts have great pools, some of the best dining on property, Boma, Jico, Sanaa, um, only resorts that, you know, in the Savannah views have views of the animals. Jumbo House, especially Jumbo House on this one, has an absolutely amazing lobby, big open air lobby. It's the same architect who did Wilderness Lodge, which is Copper Creek, Boulder Ridge, whatever you want to call them. Then the main, main Wilderness Lodge lobby, it's the same architect who does that. So when you walk in, very, very impressive. You, you feel like you've gone somewhere super fun and exotic and it was one of my favorite things when I first became a DVC member is walking into the Animal Kingdom lobby and going, I can't believe I'm staying at a resort like this. I never thought I'd be able to afford a place like this because it's just so impressive. Um, what's also great about Animal Kingdom is they have some great inexpensive options. Uh, you know, the, you, the value view starts at eight points per night in the off season. And you've got a standard view option as well before you start getting up to the savannas. So it's like you've got two really great inexpensive options that put you in an absolutely beautiful, exotic resort. And then if you want to spend a little more, you've got a club level. And in between that, you've got the savanna view, which means, again, you walk out on your balcony and there's giraffes and zebras and, and coli cattle and stuff down below. So, I mean, the, the absolute best views on property and the, the best categories to choose from. Again, you got inexpensive stuff, you've got club level where you get all free free food with your stay, and then you've got also views of the animals. Um, what, also a great option, one of the best things about it also is that it's a larger resort, which means that a lot of times for last minute stays, you can still get in there. You, it can be three months out sometimes and you'll see an, you'll see Jumbo House or Kadani still available. Some of, some of the other resorts, Beach Club, Boardwalk, like Polynesian sometimes are, are gone seven months out. But Animal Kingdom, because of the pure size of it and the fact that there's two different resorts, Kadani Village, the entire resort is DVC rooms. And at Jumbo House, just the fifth floor is DVC. And then a couple, a couple rooms, five or six, I believe it's six. I saw somebody post five the other day, so I'm a little confused. I thought it was six, two bedroom lock-offs essentially, that on the sixth floor for club level. So essentially, it's really just one main floor. You've got the fifth floor at Jumbo House, which was built first. It became so popular, they put Kidani right next door and made the entire thing DVC. So there's lots and lots of rooms to choose from. They're, they're big resorts. And I mean, it's one of my, Boardwalk's probably number one. Animal Kingdom is, is you know, 1B for me. Absolutely love Animal Kingdom, especially Jumbo House because of that beautiful lobby. It just makes me feel special every single time I stay there. And then one other myth. I thought of Ooh. while you're doing this is um, this is Animal Kingdom myth or yes, regular Animal Kingdom, Ooh, Animal Kingdom myth. So you you cross them is that people think that they have to choose their ownership at Jumbo or Kadani. Yes. That is not the case. It's just you buy Animal Kingdom. It expires 2057, and you can choose your reservation at Jumbo or Kadani. It's, of course, it's all based on availability, but you don't have to pick. Uh, you know, your ownership at each one. It's not like you buy Jumbo, you have 11 months there, you can't book Kadani until seven, no. It's all under one umbrella. umbrella. The Animal Kingdom umbrella, which is nice again, because you've got the option of two different resorts for one home resort. So very, very cool, I like that. And, if, and to me, I, when I think of the two resorts, it's like, to me, if you have your vehicle with you, I mean, I would prefer to stay at Kadani because you can park right underneath your villa. You stay at Jumbo with your car, you're out into uh, a parking lot. Yes. And then, uh, you know, Kadani has the, you know, the hallways that seem to go on forever. <laughs> they do have some long hallways. Does Jumbo have hallways or no? Most of the time, th th there's, one, there's one branch off that I, I went to go visit a client a couple years ago, and I was like, this is a long hallway. It's, it's not as long as Kadani's, but th there is one long ha hallway at Jumbo. I've never actually been down that hallway, like stayed down that hallway. 
But there, there's one long one, but Kadani, Kadani's a longer. K- yeah, I mean, I think if you, K- Kadani and I think Boardwalk have some of the longest hallways available. Yeah, like if, if you go up the wrong elevator in Kadani, <laughs> and you, because like if you go up the right elevator, you know, you're only, say, 20, 30 feet from your room. But if you go up the wrong one and then you have to walk down the hallway, like it's, it's one of those things where you think it's never going to end. Like it's like, like you want to call for help. Like <laughs> I need to call for backup. Like I'm here, I got a, I got a family of four, and I don't, I don't think this is ever gonna end. Two year old down, I need like, assistance. Like, did we sign up for the safari, and I was not aware? <laughs> yes, it, it definitely has some of the longer walks, possibly. Yes, but I still, still love the resort. Yes, it's, yes, it's a wonderful resort. But yeah, those. <laughs> but those things, I mean, those are the type of memories that you just. That's like I remember being in those hallways with kids when my kids are like four and two and you're like holy I, I, think, I think once at Kadani we had like the last room at the end of the hallway and I was like oh you've got to be kidding me <laughs> <laughs> I think I, actually I, I, I'm not sure it might have been I think we might have had one of the grand villas and I was like why is the grand villa all the way at the end it was it, it was a it was a walk it was definitely a walk Hopefully you enjoyed that uh, new feature from the DVC Dash Rental side of things. Tell us if you and your family have, have almost passed out, you know, walking the hallways of Kidani in the comments below. <laughs> and hopefully we'll see you in that back next week to see what the uh, featured resort is. Uh, next week might be a featured resort, but I, th- I think next week I, I might do. Actually, I'm not sure if I, maybe I'll do the also the, the top one at Emirates. We'll see. All right. Thank you for watching. We appreciate you. Have Thank a great you. Day.